Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to our conclusion of our playthrough with Shores of Tripoli, the 2020 game about the first Barbary War from Fort Circle Games. In our previous episode, we captured the city of Dern as the US forces, which puts us very close to the victory conditions we need to force Tripoli to sign a peace treaty with us. However, Tripoli has half of the gold they already need in order to be able to claim victory. And with the potential ally joining in on their side, there's a lot of different ways this one could end up. Let's jump into this final episode and see how this thing wraps up. So in the previous episode, the US forces were able to capture the city of Dern, which gives us yet another condition for enforcing that favorable peace treaty upon Tripoli. That's good. However, Tripoli also was able to amass six gold coins and sink one of our frigates, which inches them closer to the conditions that they need for victory. As we go into the last two turns, one of our clearest paths to victory as the US will be to enforce that favorable peace treaty. However, we have to draw that card, and if we don't get it in 1805, it's about a one in three chance, we'll have to survive 1805 and then we'll be able to prob probably put that card into play in 1806. We also have to take care of the problem of this frigate, otherwise we can't play that card. That's our path forward to victory. A path forward to victory for Tripoli would see them perhaps get Algiers in on their side, which then would give them potentially seven raiders and allow them to play this Yusuf Karamanli card, which allows them all to raid at once. So a couple of successful turns of raiding by Tripoli could easily see them get to those 12 gold coins that they need to win. So this one can go either way as we kind of dig into these last two years. Now let's deal the US cards and see what we're able to get to see if we can get us closer to victory with this new hand of cards. All right, so these are the six cards that we drew. We got lucky and we drew the PD of Trees and Amity, the very first card after a complete reshuffle that ended up at the top of the deck, which was really good for us. We also got Constantinople Demand tri Tribute, which means that we can force uh, Tripoli to return two gold coins, which is also good for us. So we are kind of poised for victory, however, we did not get the show of force card. So if Tripoli were to bring into play in the spring of 1805 one of their allies by drawing that card in their turn, there's not much we can do to stop it, and that would mean that we couldn't play this peace treaty until we were able to neutralize those allies. So that's a one in nine chance that could happen because there's nine cards left in Tripoli's deck. Also, it looks like Tripoli is going to raid in this first season, in the spring of 1805. And in 1805, their AI rules have a special card called U.S. Signal Books Overboard, which allows them, when they raid for the first time in 1805, to randomly discard one card from our hand. And if that were to fall on this tre uh, Treaty of Peace and Amity, that would mean we couldn't play it until 1806, which could kind of potentially create all kinds of problems. Plus, we still have to make the die rolls using the Burn the Philadelphia card and the Daring Stephen Decatur card to take out their frigate. Now, if this all sounds really complicated, it is. There's kind of a weaving nest here of possibilities. So let's go forward with the U.S. turn. Think about what we're going to do and see how this all wraps up. One of the things I didn't mention at the beginning of the turn is we have to discard two cards to get our hand down to the right side. We're going to discard Corsairs Confiscated and Hammett Recruits Bedouins. Those are two cards that I don't think are going to be as useful as the other cards in our deck. So we'll discard those and that brings us down to eight cards. Now, we talked in the previous episode about what our victory conditions are and let's just uh, kind of recap them as we go into this last two years. We, it needs to be, in order to play the peace Treaty of Peace and Amity, we need it to be the fall of 1805 or later which it is, it's the fall of 1805, so we've met that condition. The city of Algiers, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace. They are, there are no enemy forces in them at this point in time. And we've captured the city of Dern, that's the third condition. The fourth condition that we need to put into place is we need to have no frigates in the harbor of Tripoli, no enemy frigates. Right now there's one frigate. So we're actually gonna take this move, we're gonna play the odds a little bit, we're gonna take this move and go forward and see if we can end this war very quickly. How we're going to do that is we're going to play the Burn the Philadelphia card. This is uh, simulates the raid by Stephen Decatur on the Philadelphia that was in the harbor and, and we can use this to burn any Tripoli uh, frigate that's in the harbor right now. So here's how it works. 
It's playable if there is at least one triple and frigate in the harbor of Tripoli. Roll one die and apply the result. On a roll of a one or a two, the raid is a failure. That would be no effect. We don't want that because we want to knock the frigate out. On a roll of a three or a four, a Tripoli and frigate is damaged. Place it on the following year of the year turn track. So that would mean we knock it out of the harbor and it's out of service and it wouldn't come back until 1806. That would be good enough for us to put us in the victory condition that we would need because there would be no frigates in the harbor. So if we get a three or a four, we would have met all the conditions and on the subsequent turn, we could conceivably play the Treaty of Peace and Amity and end the game, end the war. Also to this, we can play this battle card, which is the Daring Stephen Decatur which is playable if either the Burn the Philadelphia or Launch the Intrepid card is the active event card this turn. Roll two dice instead of one and choose the preferred result. So we're going to add this card. We're going to add Stephen Decatur to our raid. And now it comes in for us to roll two dice. We need a three or four, a three, four, five or six on either one of these dice to knock the frigate out of the harbor. And ideally we want to sink it with a five or a six. Let's say a, a, a quick prayer to the dice roll gods, and here we go. Ah, double fours. Okay, so we didn't get the good result. We didn't get a five or a six that would have sunk it, but we can remove it from the harbor and put it over on 1806. This means that we'll have the following three seasons to be able to try to take the harbor, but Tripoli has some options that they may see come into play to be able to stop us. So let's see what happens with Tripoli's seasonal move. So Tripoli does not have five Corsairs in their harbor and they have no allies in place. So none of the other conditions apply. That means they draw a card from the top of their deck and they have nine cards left. I counted them without looking. If the top card brings their allies into play, that would mean immediately that we no longer have the conditions that we need in order to be able to win the game. And that would put a serious damage in our chances to, to ending this war. However, let's see what Tripoli gets, please. Oh my goodness, the, f <laughs> the fates are against us. Place three Algerine Corsairs in the harbor of Algiers. That's the one card we didn't want. <sighs> okay, what a mess now. Okay, we'll have to, let's, let's sort this out. So at the last minute, as we're ready to force the peace treaty, Tripoli is able to enlist the support of the Algiers of Algiers and get three Corsairs into their harbor. That means we no longer meet the condition of the city of Algiers, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace. We'll have to be able to sink these three or get rid of these three, and we don't have a card that's going to allow us to do it. God, what a mess. And on the next turn, Tripoli can perhaps raid with all seven of their Corsairs by playing their Yusuf Karamanli card which basically says pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor of Tripoli and the Corsairs from the harbor of each active ally. And the AI rules say that happens in 1805 if there is just one ally together with Tripoli. So the worst situation for us is unfolding here. God, okay, let's see what we can do to counter this. We'll go to the summer of 1805. I don't like the odds if we get to 1806, so as the U.S. forces, we are going to gamble on ending this in 1805. From our core cards, we're going to play Thomas Jefferson, move up to eight American frigates, and resolve any battles that result. We're going to take every one of our seven frigates in the Mediterranean and bring them into the harbor here of Algiers. Take the two around Trippy, the Tripoli, the four from Malta, the one in Alexandria, and we can also bring in our squadron of gunboats. And we are going to attack the Corsairs here. It's going to give us 17 dice rolls that we need sixes on. So the odds are slightly less than even that we'll get three sixes and wipe out the Corsair fleet. That would put us in place that we potentially could win the game in the fall of 1805. So let's see how we do. We're going to roll 17 dice rolls here. We need sixes to knock them out. Let's get started rolling in groups of four because we lose them off here. Yes. All right. So there's our first roll. We got one six out of four. That's a good start for us. Let's keep these dice going. Our second roll. That one misses. We get two. Nice. We'll lock that one in place. That one won't stay on. 
got two knocked out out of eight rolls. That's good. The dice gods are favoring us here. A third one, 12 four. Let's fin it, finish it right here. God, nothing. 12 rolls and we've got two sixes. We need one more to wipe them out. Let's do four more. Ah, bugger, that's 16 rolls and we've got two sixes. We're down to our last dice roll to get this six. We needed to knock them out. Come on, dice roll gods. Ah, oh, good Lord. Okay, so we got two Corsairs knocked out. Now the Corsairs get to fire back. They get three rolls at us. On rolls of sixes, they would knock out, they would weaken our frigates. They get nothing, no sixes. So that's good for us. But we can come back over here and we can wipe out two of the Corsairs, leaving them with one. Extinguish the Jefferson card. Everything goes back to Malta. And now we go to Tripoli's turn in the summer of 1805. As Tripoli, this card comes into play. The card Yusuf Karamanli, which is pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor of Tripoli and the Corsairs from the harbor of each active ally. So that means that all four Corsairs from Tripoli head out into the Mediterranean to raid, as well as the Corsair from Algiers, putting five Corsairs into the harbor, into the Mediterranean to raid. Now, the other card here that comes into play, I'm pretty sure, is this one, which is dangerous for us, U.S. Signal Books Overboard which is playable after any interception roll that includes an American frigate. Now the cards rules say here, playable after any interception roll that includes an American frigate. However, the AI rules say playable on the first pirate raid in 1805 or 1806. So I assume that the AI rules supersede the rules that the conditions on the card, and we have to play this now. This card basically says, randomly draw one card from the American player's hand and place it in the discard pile. Which means that we have six cards in our hand right now. I'm shuffling them up off camera. We have to randomly pick one of these cards to go in the discard pile. The one that we don't want to go in the discard pile would be the peace treaty of peace, the treaty of peace and amity, because that would mean that we can't regain it until 1806 when the harbor is back, that the frigate would come back to the harbor of Tripoli and we'd have to resolve that problem. So I've shuffled up the cards here. We're going to take the top one off the deck. I have no idea what it is. Let's put these right here. Hoping it's not the peace treaty of the, the peace treaty one. Also hoping it's not the one that allows us naval movement because we want to try to uh, have another naval combat in Algiers. Okay, the card random fates here are Assault on Tripoli. Okay, good. Yes. So that's another card that we will probably need to get if we can't wipe out the frigate in the harbor, but it doesn't impact us on this turn. So now we go to the raid here, which is basically the five Corsairs in the Mediterranean. They need rolls of fives or six to get gold coins. Tripoli has six gold coins already. So this could kind of actually put a good roll here could put them perilously close to getting the 12 coins they need. They get two fives, they get a five and a six, which gives their gold coin tally up to eight, getting them much closer to the 12 they need. But these Corsairs return to Tripoli. These Corsairs return to Algiers and we go to the fall of 1805 for our US turn. As the U.S. player in the fall of 1805, we've got one chance to knock out Algiers and potentially play our peace treaty card in the, the winter of 1805 before that frigate comes back. We're going to play naval movement, which allows us to move four American frigates. We're going to take four frigates from Malta, bring them into Algiers and attack. Our gunboats as well can join this attack. That gives us 11 die rolls to sink this last course here. In order to do that, we need to roll a six. So we'll do rolls of four, four, and three here, hoping we can get it on the first one to put my mind at ease. This is big. This is, if we don't get this, it's very likely we're going to lose the game. I mean, that, that's for sure. So hopefully we'll have some luck here. Yes, all right, good, we got it. Now, they get one roll back at us because this is naval combat. So they do get one roll to see if they can knock out one of our frigates here. Oops, I rolled with the American dice. That's fine. But they get a three, which misses. So we have sunk the last Corsair. These go back to Malta. Now, all of the conditions that are ready for peace 
are in place for the U.S. forces. Algiers, Tunir, and uh, Tangier and Tunis are knocked out. There are no frigates in the harbor. We've captured Dern, and it's 1805. Let's go to the fall of 1805 for Tripoli's turn. So Tripoli has uh, no other cards in play except five Corsair check, and there are not five Corsairs. So we draw a card from the top of their deck, which is Pirate Raid with all Corsairs from the harbor of Algiers. But we just sunk the last one. And of course, for this one, discard to perform a raid or build action. So in this case, the conditions for the raid or build say that if harbor, if any one of these harbors has at least three Corsairs, Tripoli does, and more Corsairs than American frigates in the, or Swedish frigates in the patrol zone, there are zero, then these Corsairs will raid. And they're going to raid unimpeded this time because we have no frigates in the patrol zone around. They'll go right out into the harbor of the Mediterranean and raid. Now, Tripoli has, at this point in time, they have eight gold coins. So they get four die rolls. They need fives or sixes. To get 12 coins, they need fives or sixes on all four dice. So the way Tripoli wins the game if they get fives or sixes on all four dice, which is unlikely, I would think, but you never know. So fingers crossed that we don't have like horrific luck and Tripoli wins the game here. Rolling four dice, they get one five, which gives them nine gold coins, but not enough to get to 12. So let's go to the winter of 1805. The winter of 1805, right before that frigate comes back in the harbor in the next season, we have met the conditions to play the Treaty of Peace and Amity. So the U.S., as the U.S. player, will play this card. It is the fall of 1805 or later. The cities of Algier, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace because there are no military uh, corsairs in those harbors. The city of Dern here has been captured, and there are no Tripolitan frigates in the harbor of Tripoli. Although next turn, the spring of 1806, Tripoli would have gotten that frigate back. So we just <laughs> barely squeaked by to pull out a victory here by being able to place the, play this card right before we got to the spring of 1806. If they had gotten that frigate in the harbor, it would have been a nightmare because we had one small chance to get it out. If we didn't do that, we would have had to probably assault Tripoli, which would have been a wild and chaotic battle. But we were able to get the victory as the U.S. That was a close game there at the end. That got pretty wild when Algiers came in. Let's, uh, let's make some final comments and then wrap this up. So that brings us to the end of this playthrough. Thanks so much for tuning in. That was a close game by the end. I mean, we got, we got lucky in that we drew that, the peace treaty card in 1805. We got unlucky in that Tripoli was able to pick off that one in nine chance that Algiers comes into the war and that happened in the beginning of 1805. That was perfectly bad timing for us. And we were fortunate that we could take them out with raids and fortunate they also didn't get our cards. So you can imagine just like one card here or one card there or three more fives or sixes on their raiding rolls and Tripoli would have won by raiding because they would have had 12 gold coins or it would have at least forced us to have addressed it a little bit more. So uh, always a tight game. I think this is the fourth time now I've played against the AI bot and I've managed to win two and lose two. And I've always been impressed with how hard it gets towards the end here. So uh, a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Let me know your thoughts. What, what, what you have done differently. What do you, got any questions about it too? I realize at the end there, there's a lot of different conditions that come into play. So uh, if you have questions or unsure about anything, feel free to drop them down in the comments as well. Uh, we'll come back, I think, on our, in a few days, maybe a week or so, with a full review of the game. Uh, I've played it enough, I think I feel pretty comfortable with giving it a review. So we'll come up with a review of the game. But we're going to move on to new things. I'm not quite 100% sure yet what we'll do next. But I uh, should start that, start that up in a couple of days. And if you have ideas, again, I'm, I'm all open and things like that, too. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great week. And we'll see you again in our next series.